Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori and I am a reseller on Poshmark and eBay. Today I'm super excited to talk to you about a new tool that is available to resellers who are interested in cross-posting. Um, if any of you have been following me, thanks for coming back to view this video. And for any new viewers, welcome. Um, I am primarily a Poshmark seller. I have over a thousand listings on Poshmark right now as opposed to just 32 listings on eBay. When I first started reselling many years ago, um, I only sold on eBay. It was my comfort spot. But once I got used to the Poshmark app, I fell in love and that is where my home base is right now. But I do realize there is a lot of value in cross-posting items, especially certain brands, certain sizes, and of course, most of my hard goods I like to post over on eBay as well. So there is a tool called Vendoo, V-E-N-D-O-O dot C-O dot co. Actually, I just use mine on my desktop. I registered online and um, I am able to import my items from Poshmark and they will take all of the information or most of the information from Poshmark and import it right into an eBay listing for you. And it has been a total game changer for me. I've listed 13 items in a couple days and really it's just been, it's probably taken 30 minutes of my time in total. I'm really excited about Vendu. Um, this is not a sponsored thing or anything. I just know how much I struggle with cross posting my listings. And because this is in its beta phase and new, Vendu is free until the end of the year. So it's a great time to jump on board and give this a try. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip the camera around and I'm gonna go through two listings for you. I'm gonna go through the first one step-by-step step a little bit slowly and kind of go over a lot of details with you. And then I'm gonna go a little faster through the second one so you can kind of see the rhythm of how it works. But um, thanks so much to the Vendu team who came up with this. I know they were at Posh Fest. They've been fantastic. I reached out to them and let them know that I was doing a video. They're very excited about it. They also have a YouTube channel and I will link that below that gives their version of their tutorial on how to cross post. So I'm showing you as a user and um, I'm definitely a believer. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I'm really excited to bring it to you. So if you enjoy it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you found it informative. I'm probably gonna stumble through a little of the details with eBay because I'm not much of an eBay girl. I'm sure many of you watching have a lot more knowledge about eBay than I have, but I, I just wanted to show you uh, kind of a layman's girl way of going through this and figuring it all out. So thanks for joining me. Here we go. All right, I am in my kitchen just doing some editing and I realized that I forgot to mention a pretty important detail. I I keep calling this an app, but really it's meant to be used on your computer. Uh, when I posted on Instagram, I got an overwhelming response to my story when I when I showed um, how to do this, which is why I decided to do it, um, make, make it a YouTube video and kind of make it official for everybody. Uh, but one of my Instagram friends, her name is Peony Dreams One, messaged Vendu directly. So I'm just gonna read what they said about um, where it's meant to be used uh, because I, I think I've referred to it as an app a couple times. It's not actually an app. So, Vendu is made to be used on a computer in Google Chrome. You have to be in Google Chrome in order to use this. Um, however, you can use your mobile browser to post onto eBay and Etsy. Poshmark only works on the computer now. We are working on it though. So this is what the Vendu team sent um, Peony Dreams One and she forwarded that to me, which was really helpful. And I think very important information to share with you. So I'm just gonna insert this somewhere in the video um, so that you have that. So meant to be used on the computer, needs to be in Google Chrome, and you can only work on the computer for Poshmark, which for me, again, works. I am on my phone all day. I swear I have carpal tunnel syndrome from taking all my pictures and editing and all that on the phone. It's actually nice to do some work on the computer for me. So just a heads up, want to share that with you. Enjoy the video. Goes. The first thing you need to know is that in order for Vendu to work, you have to open your Poshmark. So this is my Poshmark um, setting and then I opened Vendu. 
So um, I'm going to go over the profile really quickly, which is basically um, my version of helping you with your registration. This is about as quick as it is, but since I already registered, I'm just going to show you in the settings my profile. So you just your name, Lori, last name, Tata. You enter a password, and then you're going to click, I believe this when you register, you're going to click the platforms you want to work on, which marketplace. So I am active on eBay not connected on Etsy because I don't sell on Etsy, and then active on Poshmark. So for this video, I'm only going to be showing you um, Poshmark to eBay. Because I have so many listings on Poshmark and so few on eBay, I'm not going to go in the reverse. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but you'll be able to get the gist of um, how it works from here. So Poshmark open, you've already registered. So now let's get into um, listing an item. So I just clicked on this um, tag here in the top left area that says inventory. And these are all the items that I have already listed. So here you're gonna see eBay and Poshmark are indicated and that means they are listed on both platforms. Um, one of the most important things you need to remember at this point also is that when you're listing, I'm gonna click on new item over here and from Poshmark I kinda had two thoughts going at once it briefly shows you my Poshmark page and then it shows you um, the page that you'll be importing from so this is what I wanted to say and this is why I paused because it wasn't up on the screen current import features for Poshmark only allow to search your last 48 listings we're working to improve this to include all listings so I have over a thousand items on Poshmark this is only going to be able to access my most recent 48 items. So um, hopefully that will improve, um, we'll be able to list more, but as I continue to list on Poshmark, I'll always be able to access my most recent things. So I won't really be able to go past 950. <laughs> you know, I'll only get those first 48, and then the other 950 I can't access just yet. But that's just fine with me because I haven't posted in such a long time to eBay that um, anything is better than nothing. And I already did 13, so I'm excited about that. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna do these Madewell skinny jeans for men. So all you're gonna do is click import. And it's thinking. Okay, and here it is. It brings all the photos in and it has the title here. Um, now on eBay you have more space for your title and for your description. So I'm going to just add the size right here. Size 32, 32. Um, the second part of this video I actually filmed before this section. So I'm going to repeat what I'm gonna say right now. Um, so I apologize for that. But right here, this is a stock photo, which is not allowed on eBay. So I'm just going to X that out and get rid of that stock photo entirely. Um, you can use stock photos if you choose to on Poshmark and you cannot use them on eBay. So I wanted to get rid of that. I have my photos here. I had a little extra space here. I added 3232, my description imported. So then there are gonna be these pink sections which are fields that I still need to fill out for eBay. So these are pre-owned. Uh, the other options just to show you, new with tags, new without tags, new with defects. So I clicked on pre-owned, primary color blue, for jeans, I don't have a SKU number, so then it comes right into this category, imports this, men's jeans skinny, category skinny. Okay, this is the section um, that I struggle with a little bit, uh, and this is um, the more challenging part for me on eBay is estimating the weight and deciding what I'm going to charge for shipping. So I'm gonna say that these jeans are about a pound, let's say a pound. I believe this is just an estimate, that I need to include there, and I'm going to leave my price at $55. So that's set, and then I'm going to click Save. This little green light pops up, and now I know that it's saved. So the first time I did this, I was like, okay, what happens next? Um, but then I looked over here, because there's really not much on the screen. Um, I looked over here, and I saw eBay not listed. So I clicked on that. And then it brings me to this area. So it's a new view. It now gives me a Vendu item number and status is not listed. 
So here we go, my title, my description. It's going to prompt me to fill in a few more fields. So condition, description, I'm just gonna write great, pre-owned condition, color blue, uh, sorry, color blue. Okay, so it wants to know more details here. So these are the required details it's asking for. So the inseam is 32, the size type is regular, and the size is 32 for men. I'm click on 32. Um, so now this section right here, I'm avoiding a little bit because I'm kind of a less is more girl, which is why I love Poshmark so much. But show optional fields, I'm just going to show you as um, this is an option. So, I mean, I suppose I could come in here and, you know, mark that they're skinnies or whatever. The material is caught in. If I wanted to, department fit. So, I'm just not going to do this. I'm just going to say as a disclaimer, the more information you give, probably the better for your buyers. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to get more listed over there. And if it's not required, and I don't feel like going through all those optional fields, I'm not going to. So I'm going to hide optional. So now, um, so those were the three items up here that were required to fill. So right here, shipping policy. So I have some defaults already saved that I had already set up. So I set my payment um, policy to PayPal. You can also do PayPal immediate pay, but I just have PayPal. You can do your return policy is no returns accepted. And then below that is the shipping location. So my zip code is listed below. Those settings I already have set to default. My shipping policy, and by policy, they just mean what do you, like how much are you charging to ship this? And there are so many options. You can ship priority, parcel, media, first class, standard, um, local pickup. There are all sorts of options. So jeans are a little bit heavy. Um, but honestly, this is where I struggle a little bit. I think I'm going to charge, I think, $6.99, which is, this is just a safe one for me because it's similar to, um, similar to, Poshmark. So if I had a scarf, I wouldn't charge this much. And if I had a pair of boots, I'd probably charge more. But I think most general items I'm going to keep around the $6.99 priority. So I'm going to click on that. So now everything is here. Um, my pricing format is fixed pricing. You can also do auction style. That's not what I'm doing for this. All of the durations, the only option you have is good till canceled. My buy it now price, $55. I'm also going to click allow for best offers. So here you have the option to accept offers of a certain amount. So say I want to accept any offers over 30, decline any offers lower than 20. You can add that. I like to see all of my offers that come through and decide as they come in. So I'm going to leave both of those blank, but I am going to allow best offer. So then you come down here and all you have to do is press list, press list on eBay. And then you wait for your celebration and here comes the confetti. Woohoo! There we go. Listing complete. So view listing. I click on that to just see what it looks like. And here we go. Madewell men's skinny skinny distressed jeans 3232. There's my little condition that I added in there. My 699 expedited shipping. Um, and my descriptions down here. So that is fantastic. So I'm going to X out of here. And then from Vendu, I'm going to go back to inventory. And now you see that my Madewell skinny, skinny, distressed jean is there. So what I'm going to go over next, which I already filmed for you, is this Talbot's Rust Velvet Blazer. And it's going to go a little bit faster than this. So there we go. So thanks. So I'd like to do one more demonstration for you. And this time, go through it a little bit faster so you can kind of see the how fast it goes. So here we go. We're going to click on New Item from Poshmark going to tap into my Poshmark account, show my, my page real quick, and then it's going to transition over here, and it's going to show the last 48 items. Um, let me just see what I would like to pull. Uh, maybe Talbot's. Talbot's is one of those brands, uh, along with like Chico's, Coldwater Creek, that I like to list on both platforms. So let's pull in this nice rust velvet blazer. Great for the season. Okay. 
So here we go. Um, I forgot to mention in my last one, you cannot use stock photos on eBay. So if this were a case where I had a stock photo here first, I would just X out of that. Um, I would delete that photo and not use any stock photos on eBay. Okay, so condition pre-owned primary color. Let me see if I'm just going to type in rust. Okay. You could also do burnt orange. It's not letting me. Let me just see. Nope. I guess you have to just pick a more general one. Okay. Package weight. I'm going to do one pound, five ounces. I'm a terrible estimator. I could be way off with these. And I'm going to make this $59.99. Save. Okay, now I'm going to come over to eBay to make sure that it gets listed. Talbot's Rust Velvet Blazer. I think I'm going to add to this description actually also. It's a size 10 petite. Um, so my description, absolutely gorgeous, single button closure, laundered, Talbot's pre-owned. I'm just going to say excellent condition. Color orange, UPC. Okay, so here's the style. Um, we are just going to call this a blazer. Is that an option? Nope. So some things you can write in and some you can't. This blazer is there. Okay, size type. Petites. Size. 10. Okay, shipping. This may cost a little bit more. I think I'm going to go with the flat priority $8 right here. My first option. Everything else is default, um, fixed price, good till canceled, $59.99, allow best offers. I'm not going to um, do any parameters around that. And then list on eBay. Oh, what did I forget? Listing error, internal error. Hmm? I don't think that's my fault. It says internal error. Let's try again, list on eBay. That might have just been a little glitch. There we go, listing complete. Excellent, so let's view listing. And there it is. Talbot's Rust Velvet Blazer, beautiful, excellent condition, $59.99. Um, and my item descriptions are down below here. So some people do get frustrated that it's not like a seamless, meaning that everything doesn't just transition over without um, having to add any more information. For me, it still saves a lot of time because um, I typically used to keep all the pictures on my phone that I wanted to one day upload to eBay. And now as soon as I take the pictures and upload to Poshmark, I can delete them because now I know I can just import them from Poshmark through Vendu. So anyways, that wraps up, wraps up my video for today. I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'm just going to go back to Vendu here and we're going to look at my inventory on Vendu. And there is the Rust Velvet Blazer that I just added in the Rock Republic one uh, belt from earlier. Um, I will say since I started filming uh, this Tommy Bahama plaid shirt, I listed yesterday on Cross cross-posted, listed them on both platforms and cross-posted to eBay. And it sold on eBay for $40. So this was my first sale using Vendu and I was really excited. And these shoes right here, these bocce art to wear mixed pattern booties, which are really cool. Um, I just received a question from a potential buyer on these through eBay. Both were listed on Poshmark and got no love over there. So I'm really excited for the potential uh, where this platform could bring me. So Bravo, Vendu. I love it. Uh, Vendu also posted yesterday on Instagram on October 30th that or October 29th that they were going to remain free through the end of this year. So my advice to all of you is if this looks like something you'd be interested in doing, I would jump on it sooner than later and get as many listings as you can in while it's in its beta phase and free. And um, and I think you will see how worth it it is. At least it is to me. We'll see what the price is. Um, but thanks again to the Vendu team. This is fantastic. And um, if you liked this video, it would mean so much to me if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if this is something you want to keep seeing. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.